From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big early mornings broadcast here on LA Late with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 as the president calls the vote. Calling the vote on the reconciliation, away we go in this monthly stimulus check update. We'll be going over how much you're going to get from those Democrats, when you're going to get it, and what the president's doing in calling this vote finally to commence the reconciliation voting process. It's wonderful news, seen first time here on Early Morning's broadcast. Then we'll be turning to fist stimulus that heats up this fall with another stimulus check and raising your benefits up lifetime. And what we learned yesterday from Wall Street and Federal Reserve about these benefits. Wonderful breaking news. And then we turn to the thousands of dollars that viewers continue to get it. It's your opportunity to get it right now. It's a big day, and I'm excited for you to get all this money. It's money in third stimulus, it's money in fourth stimulus, and it's money in fifth stimulus. And this is Early Mornings LLA. It finally cooled off. It finally cooled off. Yesterday, I was joking. I said, "Hit the hit the like button, and the the heat wave will break." And it worked. So I don't know, uh, but it was very very bad the last two days here in Southern California, and it finally broke. Beautiful onshore breeze coming here in Santa Monica this early morning. But I hope the weather is good where you are. Tell me where you're tuning in from and tell me how the weather is. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, we have some wonderful breaking news. The president's calling the vote on the reconciliation, saying start the voting process next week. Wow. There we go. Here we go. Exciting details. We'll be going over the monthly stimulus check and how much is at issue from these Democrats. We'll be kind of cutting to fifth stimulus later in this video. That pays you a lot of money if you're on SSI and SDI, but how much? We're learning a lot more about that inflation rate that potentially could raise your benefits a lifetime 10% on top of the other lift you're going to get under fifth stimulus. OMG. Yes. And then we turn to the big money you can get right now. And that is all exciting, great news. We're going to go over the thousands of dollars that viewers continue to get every single day from this channel, and it's your time to get it as well. But first, Subscribe. This is LA, the only 24-hour a day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. I'm live 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Currently airing on this channel at the same time of this show is Overnight's Crypto. Stay with this show when it's done and this video, and it'll automatically take you into Overnight's Crypto. But we're live in the morning with Mornings L8 and Noontime and Mornings Crypto and then taped in the afternoon with Afternoons L8, Evenings L8 and the two Evenings Crypto shows. So hit that subscribe button right now. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. Next stop, 1 million. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. And hit that like button, get the heat wave away. <clears throat> get that, hit that like button to give you good weather today. Let's go over those monthly stimulus checks, starting with the House bill and the Senate proposal. House bill, pandemic plus one year stimulus checks. Senate proposal, stimulus checks from July to December. Let's compare then the monthly payouts and see how different they are. Monthly payouts from House, 1000 after the first month of 2000 Set it unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Wow. That is per person from the Senate Democrats. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 a person. If you're on the live chat just after 4 a.m. Pacific time, get ready to vote House or Senate. Tell me where you're tuning in from. But now let's go back to something we need to analyze, which is the macroeconomic factors that could modify the House Jalapal bill. Pandemic plus one year could get reduced to just one year because the pandemic may be deemed over. That would result in $13,000 over 12 months from the House versus this over six months from the Senate. <laughs> All right, vote House of Senate. I think you have an opinion now. Vote House of Senate. Which one do you like? And tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Let's go over everything else you need to know about that fourth stimulus check to start this early morning's broadcast. The Democrats want everyone who got a third stimulus check to get a fourth stimulus check. So if you're a single individual who makes 75000 or less, you get a fourth stimulus check from the Democrats. 
Married couple, 150000 or less, you get a forced stimulus check from the Democrats. Double it. Household, four or less, you get a forced stimulus check from the Democrats. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, you get a forced stimulus check from the Democrats. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, and more. The forced stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. The forced stimulus check would come monthly, not in waves. So don't wave at the check. The check will not wave back at you, and you will think it's a rude check. Hi, check. How are you? You didn't wave at me again. Darn rude check. <laughs> it's not a check that can wave. It's not a waveable check. <laughs> the, the, the House members uh, and the Senate members want you to have a fourth stimulus check starting in the month of July. So the final vote is in the month of July. That means that they want you to have a July check in the month of July and an August check in the month of August. And there you go. That is the first of three parts of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today with the same amount of stimulus check for all people, including adult dependents and minor dependents. But coming up in the second part of this, coming up in a second, is the second part of this third, st this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, when we go over the presence calling the vote. I have all that exciting news coming up in a second, but first, here's a preview of the second half of this video, and it is the stimulus. The stimulus is heating up not just because of a stimulus check, but also because your benefits will be raised up, and not just that much, a lot more than we ever thought before. Because the inflationary benchmark could be hitting 10%, and that could mean your benefits could go through the roof lifetime. Oh boy, those exciting details are coming up in the second half of this video. But let's get some money. Let's get some money, and we're going to get it right now. If you're new to this channel, that's what I do here. I get people money. This is not a check tracking channel. We're not tracking checks. We're cashing checks. And there's fortunes of money available for you. And that money is landing this week. $350 billion from the federal government landing locally for you to get. It's all for you. Well, not all for you. What do you think this is? Publishers Clearinghouse and I'm Ed McMahon? <clears throat> no, it's for you to share. And it's for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners' utilities. I want you to get it. Get that pen and paper ready. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I think you use a Crayola crown, but that's between you and I. Uh, <laughs> get that pen and paper ready or Crayola crown. And we're going to go over the places where you're going to get that money. It's about $5,000 for rent. It's wonderful, about four to six months of rent. And each place has different eligibility. So if one says no, don't worry, go to the next one. They also have their own pots of money. All right, here you go. You're going to reach out to City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County Housing Authority. State Hall, State Housing Authority. Keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. Uh, you're not going to say words that they don't know, like stimulus or um, avocado toast. <laughs> They'll say, sir, excuse me. Um, this is the rent department. We don't have avocado toast. That's down the street. <laughs> so you can't say words that they don't know. So that's about $5,000 for rent. Tim and Linda got it. Congratulations to them. If you've gotten a penny from this channel or 100,000 pennies, and I have gotten a viewer $100,000 from this channel, then reach, then drop in the comments right now because it inspires everyone else when, when we learn someone got money. I got inspired this week because I heard viewers uh, sending me messages they got one got a couple thousand for rent. Another one got $5,000 for SNAP. A viewer last week got $6,000, $7,000 for SNAP. And let's turn right now to that SNAP. It's a fortune. Lynn Glenn got it for herself and her son and her mom. Gail got it. What is it? It's money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Reach out to Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A fortune. About $16,000. About about $16,000 for family four in Hawaii. It's a lot of money. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Trump and one from Biden that both raise your benefits about 15%. It's really wonderful. Viewers continue to get it. So we are just killing it. $5,000 for rent approximately, $16,000 for SNAP approximately for family four in Hawaii. And we are only nine minutes of this video. Oh, we are killing it. But I got more money for you right now. It is $5,000 back from your state, approximately. One viewer got $5,000 for this. What is it? The states had overpaid you unemployment assistance due to computer error. Not your computer, their darn computer. <laughs> so the federal government has ordered the states to return the money back to you that you had to return to them. Wonderful news. So the states are returning the money back to you. How? 
to the account you have on file automatically with the state for unemployment assistance. Can you track the money? Call up your state to ask them if they can track the return of the money back to you and ask them to use a different computer when they're tracking it. <laughs> yeah, that computer won't work. It's just not a very good computer. Upgrade from Windows 98, please. <laughs> Thank you. So there you go. Well, I have another pot of money, and it's wonderful. Uh, Margaret got a car, got a viewers every single day. Got it. If you got it, jump in the live channel, express you got it. It's coming back from IRS. That's the taxes you paid on that 2020 tax return. It's coming back all this month. Let's go over how much it is, when you're going to get it, and how to track it. First, how much? It's a lot. So let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment assistance. You paid $5,000 of total tax bill to IRS, of which $4,000 was your taxes on the unemployment assistance, you're getting back $4,000. When this month? Tracking? Yes. Go to irs.gov, set up a username and password, go in and do a transcript search. And about 70% of the time, it works. It will reveal the payment you made to IRS of the taxes, the tax return you filed, and the check you're getting back. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful news. Can we top that? We can. With the second of our three parts of our fourth stimulus check update starting right now. Biden did it, not once, but twice. The President of the United States did something wonderful overseas while in Geneva. He had heard what was going on back in the States and had enough and said, I'm calling the vote. I'm calling the vote on the recon. You start voting on this recon next week. I don't hear anything else. Hey, crack the whip finally. Love it. So you've been asking. We understand the stimulus will call to a final vote by July 4th, but when does it start the first of the nine steps? Says it's starting next week. Wow, there goes that exciting details. Now he did something else. While in England, he got the global G7 leaders to agree to a global minimum corporate tax rate that anchors for stimulus right to the edge of the finish line and no longer having to have certain provisions in for stimulus, they're now in that international agreement, making it easier for those legislators to pass for stimulus. Oh, Biden did that as well. I have all the details of how we got up to that point, explaining the details starting right now. It started with Leader Schumer. Leader Schumer had said on the Friday before Memorial Day weekend, not one but three of the breaking news stories which I had reported. Number one, that they're currently under reconciliation process already. Two, that they're finishing by July 4th. And three, they're starting, they're finishing with a passage on July 4th. How do we get to that point? From Jalapal. Jalapal had Richard Schumer a letter saying, call the vote. That's what the president said now this week. And so Jalapal said, call the vote. But who signed Jalapal's letter? 12 House Democrats who were among the 100-plus House Democrats who had written the President a letter earlier before that said, Mr. President, when you, when we, when you do the forced stimulus, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in there. <gasps> wow, now that's good. Can we top that? We can top that. <laughs> Seven House Democrats writing the President directly a letter saying, Mr. President, when we write the forced stimulus checks, we're going to write them as monthly stimulus checks in the forced stimulus package. <gasps> who are these people to say that? They're on the subcommittee that's solely and exclusively responsible for writing stimulus checks in the United States co government, Congress, House of Representatives. Oh my goodness. Did they write the first stimulus check? They did. Did they write the second stimulus check? They did. Did they write the third? They did. Are they going to write the fifth? They say they are as well. They say they're currently marking up the fourth stimulus check bill. <laughs> <laughs> and they say they're going to be doing a fifth one in the fall. Those breaking details coming up in the second half of this video. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Can we top that? We can. When the President of the United States did that incredible deal overseas, let me explain how he got to that point. And I said it was confusing and I needed to slow it down, so I'm going to do that again. It started on that recent Tuesday I had been telling you over recent weeks, where the President had said, I got an issue. Let me explain what was his issue. Forced stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate. That's the tax rate that companies in the United States pay to the federal government. Well, the president was worried about that, and he said, I'm worried if I raise the U.S. corporate tax rate, then some U.S. corporations may move their businesses overseas where the corporate tax rate is lower to pay less cor corporate tax rates, taxes. So he reached out to the G7 countries and had an idea, said, let's all raise our minimum corporate tax rate so no business will start to relocate to different locations. They'll stay where they are. 
and the country's tentatively agreed. Good news. To which the president told his insiders, you know what, I like how this is going. Around December, Christmas, let's go back to those G7 countries and have them sign on the dotted line. If they do, then we take those provisions out of force to most. Well, the president surprised us all. He really surprised us. As suddenly out of nowhere, with that tip-off I told you a week ago, he suddenly went overseas on his first international trip and had the G7 countries now, not in December, sign on the dotted line and green to raise the global minimum corporate tax rate, which anchors forced him us right to the finish line right now, anchors it right to the edge of the finish line by making it easier for the Democrats in the Congress to pass forced him us so certain provisions are no longer needed to be in there. They're in the international agreement. <sighs> that is just wonderful news. And we can we top that? We can. And it's the third part of our Force to Most Check update of 2021, and it heats up right after this commercial break, along with this stimulus. But first, we do something even better, and it's the volunteers. The volunteers embody the true purple power spirit, viewers helping viewers. They're there for you to help get that rent, utilities, mortgage, internet, snap. If you've reached out to get it and you can't find it, don't worry. Go to the description in this video. Open the description and you'll see an emoji of a link to the community page. It's an emoji of a house next to a link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. Click that link and I send you over a page with some kitty cats. They're not your volunteers, they're just kitty cats. <laughs> Lower on the page of the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They're to help you get that money if you can't get it. They embody the true purple power spirit. The spirit of this channel, me helping you, them helping you as well. People helping one another. And that is a true purple power spirit. So if you need help with that money, reach out to them. But first, here's a little bit about them. And coming up after the commercial break, more exciting details about four stimulus, a lot of breaking details this morning on Early Mornings LA, and surprising breaking details about four stimulus. Stay with me for that, all those details after this commercial break. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Early Mornings LA as Force Stimulus heads to the finish line. I have more exciting details on this Early Mornings broadcast starting right now. Also, this stimulus heats up with another stimulus check, but raising your benefits lifetime, and you'll see how it's fortunes a lot more money than anything Elizabeth Warren proposed. This is LA, the fastest growing and the biggest and most comprehensive financial news channel. But 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So subscribe. I want you part of this family. 400,000 subscribers, of YouTube record in one year. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Membership links are in the top of the chat and pinned comment. Let's get right into Fifth Stimulus, starting right now. Fifth Stimulus has another stimulus check. Those Democrats in the House represent they're gonna put a fifth stimulus check in there. When? Likely for next year. 
because a stimulus does not go to a final vote until November. So for stimulus in their mind this year, fifth stimulus checks next year. Great news. Second, also great news, the president has dedicated $1 billion to the Social Security Administration in his new budget. That $1 billion will be used to pay to ensure that staffing, computer systems, electronics are all ramped up and modernized so that you get stimulus checks and other checks on time. Certainly, third stimulus was a debacle. People who were on benefits got third stimulus checks weeks, months after everyone else. We had wave after wave after wave because they couldn't figure things out. And they want to modernize the system so everyone gets paid quickly because there's a lot of monthly checks going out in the next few weeks. Then, the breaking news. Jerome Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, testifies on Capitol Hill, but not so much what he said, what he doesn't say. Most analysts now say that the inflation rate is going through the roof and that the inflation rate now is a lot higher than anyone thought. Why is this happening? Because of the producer price index and the CPI index, consumer price index, were released in the last seven days. One of them released this week. Both numbers show that prices of goods are going through the roof. So while I have been reporting that inflation may be going to 2 to 6% this December, they're now saying, no, you're at 4% now and we're heading potentially to 10% in December. OMG. Now, this is huge. It's a huge because what they're talking about is what they call transitory or temporary spike of inflation. Currently 4% going up every month until we get to the end of this year and then hitting at a 10% rate, a peak, and then coming down. But when? No one knows for certain when that peak will happen. So let me now go over that peak and that rate in the context of that SSI reform. That SSI reform will raise your benefits up, remove the asset limit, add that inflationary benchmark, remove the income exclusion, remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over why that peak is so important for you. First, they're going to raise your benefits up. Who's you? You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, SSA, or anything, or multiple benefits. They'll raise your benefits up one time. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. That benchmark is inflation. That benchmark is applied every year in December, November for the next year. But what is the inflation then? You have to hope that as that inflation rate is going up every month from 4% to a higher percent, that it hits, hits that highest spot right when they apply your benchmark in December. And if they do, you are really set well. Let's show an example. If it goes to 10% and it hits 10% right when they apply your benchmark, your benefits will be lifted 10% additional on top of the fifth stimulus lift lifetime, not just next year. This is huge. Imagine having your benefits raise that much because the way a benchmark works is it lifts you up and never steps you down. So the inflation rate, when it goes back down to something like 2% next year, your benefits don't step down. They stay at that plus massive rate. Well, they're also going to remove the asset cap, dating back to a 1980s law that says you can have more than $3,000 on hand, it's going to go away. They're going to remove the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. And they're going to move the marriage penalty. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest like Rob and Sandy will be able to marry. No longer fear the marriage penalty and no longer be penalized if you are married. And there you go. That's fifth stimulus. But boy, there's a lot of other stuff that's in fifth stimulus that I don't have time to record in a 30-minute video. It's important for you to know what's in fifth, fourth, and third stimulus. If you're in the live chat, you notice people who have purple hawks next to their name emojis. They are members. How do you become a member? Click the link at the top of the chat or pinned comment. Members are sent daily from me to them via the community page on YouTube, a breakdown of all the money they're entitled to under third stimulus. It's thousands of dollars. This channel is not about tracking checks. It's about cashing checks. Whether it's 5000 or 4000 or 10000 or 20000 viewers continue to get big sums of money because they understand these are the big monies that are dedicated for them that are application-based in the stimulus packages. Sitting back and waiting around for a $600 stimulus check is naive when there's tens of thousands of dollars elsewhere in that package for you to get application base. So consider becoming a member so you send daily what's in the third, fourth, and fifth stimulus. Next, it's important to note that there were two things that came out in broadcast media yesterday about, uh, about benefits that you need to understand. One, they're talking about COLA and its impact later this year. They're referring to the current system before it finishes. Number two, it's important for you to understand that this fifth stimulus with this inflation rate 
is astronomically this much big compared to how much Elizabeth Warren was going to give you of, two, of SS200. So please do not talk about SS200. It is a waste of finger finger typing. You want to be talking about passing this fifth stimulus because this is the astronomical amount of money you want. You just want them to get it to the finish line. Which brings us now back to fourth stimulus for our third part of this extended early morning's broadcast about fourth stimulus. Boy, there's a lot of stuff to go over still, and it's all wonderful news. I'm going to go over personal me personal message about four stimulus. We're going to be going over rounding times. We're going to go over fake narratives, and we're going to go over purple power. All right, step number one, personal message. It's important to know that whenever we're talking about any legislation, it's not a time or place to be a psychic. This is not the psychic stimulus network, and I'm not Mr. Cleo. And you should never partake in a psychic stimulus network analysis with your friend at the water cooler or on the front porch, because you don't know, you don't predict, you don't have an insight as to their minds. Legislators are currently marking up the bill. That means they have a draft of the bill and they have a pen in the hand. The pen has ink on one side and an eraser on one side. And at any time, they could be erasing something you like or adding something that you like with a pen. So it's not a time or place to be part of a psychic analysis. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I don't think. What do you think? I heard. I, I didn't hear. It's important to not do that because legislators can modify stuff. Which brings us to now the, the steps of the process to pass legislation, nine steps. The voting process now starting next week. Let's go over all the details. Well, you had said, I understand it's nine steps. I understand their step nine is on no later than July 4th. But when is step one? Now we have that answer from the president. The voting will start next week. Wonderful news. Which brings us to the nine steps. Before I go over the nine steps, something new from Early Mornings LA. I've said it in some other videos, but I haven't said it recently. They can do the nine steps with several steps on the same day, with the exception of the Votorama, which is really required a certain number of hours. But they can do multiple steps on the same day. So let's go over the nine steps. Step five, eight, and nine are excuse me, five, seven, and eight are the most important steps. Step one, the House subcommittee votes on the procedural bill. Step two, the House votes on the procedural bill. Step three, the Senate votes on the procedural bill. Step four, the president signs a procedural bill into law. At that point, the procedural bill has become a law. The tow truck has passed over the fish line. Time to go get the tow hitch, the substance bill. Step five, here we go. Here we go. The House subcommittee that's marking up that bill right now will finish and call it for a vote in the House subcommittee. They can have those stimulus checks in there at that time. Step six, the House votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight, here we go. The two-day voterama in the Senate. The purpose, amendments, if they want to do amendments. And they literally can wipe the field with brand new stuff that no one else heard. They want to do something about purple flowers, they can do something about purple flowers that no one had ever heard about in five months of this package uh, discussion. But there's three things that are likely to happen for stimulus checks. First, if the House bill has no stimulus checks in there, they can amend it and add them in there. Number two, if the House bill has stimulus checks in there, they can leave it alone. Or number three, if the House has stimulus checks in there, they can change them. And then step nine, the present signs of the law. Which brings us to fake narratives. It's important to understand that having done second stimulus, third stimulus, and now fourth and fifth with you, we've seen a lot of the same things repeat themselves. And what are they? what is often repeated? Fake narratives. What are fake narratives? There are usually people who have nothing to do with the passage of the legislation talking about it. There were things like in there were things like third stimulus, where we heard certain GOP members talking about it. They did third stimulus by recon. The GOP had nothing to do with third stimulus being passed. We saw the prom creators in fall of 2020 talking about they were doing something for Nancy. She had nothing to do with them, wanted nothing to do with them. And it's important to understand that people use these fake narratives for their own political advantage. What's that issue? Uh, legislators like to use legislation as a way to get in front of the media. And then when they get in front of the media, they get benefits out of them. One, they get themselves a book deal. Two, they get themselves donations for re-election. Or number three, they get donations for a higher office campaign fund 
Or number four, they get themselves a broadcast media analyst, legal analyst, or, or, or political analyst job. So they do these things for their political advantage. Last Friday, the fake narrative started as the problem creators were back. I said, ignore them, and you've done a pretty good job about it. The protagonista, she was sort of back. I told you to ignore her. She's a Democrat out of Virginia, out of uh, uh, Arizona. I told you to ignore her. Then there was Mitt Romney, who's literally had a bill about everything. <laughs> I told you to ignore him as well. And then finally, we had a group of one or two or three Republican senators who are quitting, who are trying to represent the GOP, which is really sort of weird. Here's what you need to know, is that none of those people have anything to do with your stimulus passage. They have nothing to do with stimulus package, and that if you hear discussions about them, you should ignore them. But I, in my own speculation, believe that one of those people really brought the president to the edge and caused the president to crack the whip. Remember when the president said early in this video, enough already, just call the vote on Monday. This is getting silly. I think it was one particular person that potentially put the president over the edge, Rob Portman. Rob Portman was not someone who was involved in the situation any time through the last few months. You never heard his name. And he's one of those persons who in 2020 would just sort of insert himself in discussions and suddenly come up with something. But ultimately, he was the guy that, that said in the thick of the pandemic, when people are losing their homes and their, and their businesses and, and their, their life savings, get back to work. You, you're lazy. I'm, I'm going to cut your FPC off. <sighs> yeah, not particularly favored among Democrats. And ironically, potentially not a big favorite among Republicans, because Republicans are trying to hold every Senate seat they have. And he is among the senators who are quitting, putting that seat at jeopardy for falling to the Democrats. Republicans certainly don't like his, his exiting out the door, or the, other, or the other one that was in the negotiation with the, with the uh, protagonista. Finally, purple power, pushing. I used to have no less than two separate videos on this channel every day just about purple power and about positive thinking and pushing. And it's important to understand why you need to push, how you need to push, when you need to push, and where you need to push. First, why do you need to push? Because this is 2021. Legislators are elected to represent your interests, and they don't know what your interests are until you, um, until you vocalize them to them. In 2020, it was very easy for elected officials to know what your circumstance was in 2020 in the middle of the year. They probably, they knew, they presumed that you were having financial problems because everyone was having financial problems. 2021 now, they don't know what your situation is. Are you back to work? Are you back to normal? Is your bank account fine? Or are you heavily in debt, not back to work? Very, in, in really making a, a paycheck to paycheck. So they need to know that you need these stimulus checks. If they don't hear from you, they may presume you don't need them. And that's why it's important to push. How do you push? You go on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, uh, and tweet or and tag the elected officials. Who should you tag? Democrats, House and Senate, as many as you can tag. What should you tweet? that you need a stimulus check, why you need a stimulus check, why it's important, hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. If you see other people with the hashtag MSC and Purple Power, retweet theirs. So you may tweet three, you may write three tweets, but then see 20 other tweets, retweet those 20 tweets so that it builds up because every time they see something coming in, they, they see more of it. If you don't use social media, and you use the telephone, then do the old fashioned way. The telephone, pick up the telephone, call their DC office, be professional, respectful, and say, hey, uh, I, I think that I'm entitled to a stimulus check. Uh, I think you should put stimulus checks in there. And this is my financial circ circ circumstance. And I'd like you to pass that message on to the Senator, the House of Representatives. The more calls they get, the more they will understand the electorate is vocalizing. They need it, they want it in there. And finally, when now? It's too late to be doing this after the bills pass. It's too late to do this after the voting is over. It's now. Now is the time. So with that, make sure you push Purple Power. Share these videos on Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram. Meantime, stay here, and this video will automatically take you to Overnight's Crypto, currently playing live on the channel. But subscribe. 400,000 subscribers are YouTube record. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes. It may help end the heat wave. 
And also consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful morning. It's going to be a great day. Look forward to seeing you on all today's shows. Stay informed, stay focused, and have a beautiful mornings on LOI. Oh, 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 oh,